Oh, my name's Dave Spikey. Well, at the moment, what am I doing? Well, I've got all sorts of things. I've got this, uh, obviously, screening tonight of uh, Buzz Dish, my little ten-minute film that I wrote with John Levin, and uh, for my directoral debut sort of thing, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to do it, why I wanted to do it. Uh, I'm writing a sitcom with Neil Fitzmorris, who um, I wrote Phoenix Nights with, with Peter, and it's about, uh, it's called Glitter Ball, and it's about ballroom dancing. But it's done at a very basic level. We didn't want to, we wanted to get away from the glitz of Strictly. We wanted to get back down to grassroots of ballroom dancing, the people who've always done it, who've always gone out to Blackpool on a Wednesday night. And we've, uh, we've sort of nailed it. I think I'm really, really pleased with it, and we got the characters right. Um, so that, uh, I'm on tour till December, then I start again in spring with the tour called Words Don't Come Easy, so I'm really, really busy. Yeah. Well, I got involved with co-filming um, quite a while ago. Janet came seeing me and I was really, really impressed straight away by her ambition and, um, and the whole idea of this, you know, and taking that little germ of an idea that Northwest comedy films we tend to forget about and you know, there's, there's a question over and over again about why are there so many good Northwest comedians? And then linking the two together um, and sort of, sort of thinking, well, sh shouldn't, we, shouldn't we be thinking about a festival to encourage uh, comedy writing, comedy performers, comedy filmmakers? Isn't it the right place to be doing it in the Northwest? Because, sure, there's lots and lots of film festivals about. And I, my perception is that in those film festivals, the comedy films sort of get not sneered at a little bit, but overlooked because it's not proper art in terms of short film, what you, what you def, by definition. So I don't know, but I mean, that was my idea, and that's the, that, when I got to see Janet, that's the idea I was getting from Janet, and um, I just thought it was an incredible project to get involved with from day one. Well, I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's take a step at a time, I think. I think next year, bigger and better. Um, I know she's got ambitions to take it on the road. Um, but as I say, walk before you can run and, and just let, 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 let's build it because I think this has been, from all accounts, a massive success. And so encouraging for people who don't know where to turn in their writing and their filming and their ideas. And so let's, let's build it and then maybe start branching out. I mean, I don't know, I've not spoken to Janet about what her ambitions are for next year, but you can tell that it's the, there's a real buzz about it, and you know, and every region is, I would imagine, has the same has the same potential. Well, it's that thing about um, it's really difficult at the beginning. I mean, the, the lots and lots. It's, it's like the advice I give to people who want to be comedians is. Have, are you sure you can deliver? I know that's a really tough question to ask yourself, but I mean, yeah, you might have the, all these ideas and you might think, say if you're a comedian, you might think, or your friends might say that, yeah, you should be a comedian. But, you know, when, it, when push comes to shove, can you actually do it? And if you really believe you can, then this is an ideal opportunity for you, you know? And uh, there's various ways of approaching it. Oh, it's very complex, I think, really, because do you, do you write... A, 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 do you write a screenplay, specifically 10 minute screenplay, or do, you, or do you have a bigger idea than that and then try to prepare a 10 minute screenplay as a sampler, as a showcase for that bigger screenplay, or do you write for sitcom, or do you write sketches, whatever's your strength, you know. But here you've got an opportunity. And I mean, the camera, you can, you can hire a good camera, you don't really need a fantastic film crew. I was lucky because, you know, I was able to get assembled from my connections a really good film crew. But you don't really need all that. You just need a really good camera, good sound, and, and just, just play about with it. You've got a year till the next festival. Just, just have a go at it, you know. And, um, and it's, it's all about experimenting and learning by experience and just getting better and better.